Okay, let's have a chat about the adventure I have got planned. Over the next few days, I will be following the Badger Divide, a 320 km off-road route from Inverness to Glasgow. Leaving the city, I will head onto the Great Glen Way, climbing high above Loch Ness and passing through the towns of Drummond Rocket, Inver Morrison and Fort Augustus. Here I will pick up General Way to Military Road and climb up to Coryarrick Pass, spending the night in Blackburn Bothy. In the morning, I will continue the climb, then drop down into Kinloch Rannoch, passing Loch Lagan to Crow, then onto Loch Ocean and the White Chair, where I will spend the second night. The next day, I will climb, then drop down to Loch Rannoch, up through Rannoch Forest and into Glen Leon, another climb and descent into Glen Loch and onto Killeen. From Killeen, I will climb up and cross Glen Ogle Viaduct, followed by descent into Loch Hernhead. I climb up through Glen Ample, then down to Calendra and onwards towards Aberfoyle where I will camp at Loch Drumkin. On my final day I will head through Lockhart Forest, then onwards to Dungoyne where I will pick up the West Highland Way towards Mulgai. I will then head along the Kelvin Walkway to my final destination in Glasgow. Well, here we go, I'm on my way. Good news is, with the Great Glen Ways, it only takes a few minutes and you're out of town before you hit the trail, so let's get going. First stop, Drummond Rocket. Close to Fort Augusta, unbelievable. Won't be Scotland without some rain. Although, looking to the distance, it looks all right. I cannot believe it's gone from sunshine to absolutely tanking it down in like three minutes. Unbelievable, but anyway, it is what it is. I'm sure it'll pass over, I'll just see it out here. It's fair to say, I'm not sorry to see this place. Wow, that was some slog up that hill. But I brought the back of it now and I got in the bothy 
and there's no one here which is a great result because it's the thought of like pitching my tent wasn't I just didn't want to do that anyway get myself set up here and get a brew and chill out for a bit excellent Good morning, good morning. Wow, that was uh, some introduction last night. Um, I forgot how how undulating it was, the Great Glenway. Super ride though, loads of people camping out. I'm surprised I managed to, when I got to the Bothy, I half expected it to be full, but it was empty. Just what I needed, because I was really wet after that real big downpour last night. Um, but I've got my stuff drying out there. I'm just gonna finish off my breakfast, get packed, and then head off. Today I'm gonna, um, Back up, carry on up onto the pass, get to the top, and then drop down, pick up the road to the Isles. I've cycled along that before, it's absolutely beautiful, around sort of like the Ben Alder area, and then over to Karur train station, where I'm staying uh, at the Wyatt Chain. I'll grab, so grab some food. Similar distance to today, about 70k, a little less elevation, 1000 meters, but of course, I've got all day, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. The sun's shining, so let's get packed up and let's get going. So, no rest for the wicked, he's straight out and straight up. Gamma says it's 400 meters to the top of this pass, holy moly. But wow, what a view, unbelievable. some descent and ascent come to that as well think about it. thank god i'm really happy that i've decided to stop off halfway through i wouldn't have liked to have done that climb in awana unbelievable really rough really really technical on the descent too but what views what views
closing in on day two. That's all the climbing done. Just on, this is called the Road to the Isles. It's a stunning gravel route. Goes all the way down to the lock and then over to Crow. Um, no more uphills, downhill all the way. So I'll just enjoy this last, last section before I check in at the YHA. Good morning, good morning. Day three, biggest day of the trip, 128K, and I'm gonna try and make it to Lock Drunky and have a file today. So, gonna go and get myself something to eat at the station at Carreur, and then head off. Another lovely day, weather's looks glorious. It's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow, I cannot believe how lucky I've been on this trip with the weather apart from that one shower. It's been absolutely magnificent. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Anyway, let's crack on. Just climbing up here. I've been reliably, reliably informed that the the cafe in Glen Leon is open. Pit stop will be much appreciated. There's been some tough climbs already today, but just some lovely scenery. It's sort of like changed. Can I get like some forestry now? Absolutely epic.
is the moment of truth. Is the tea room open or is the tea room closed?
Good morning, good morning. Last day, about 50k to go until uh, I arrive in Glasgow. Great day yesterday, made good progress. Got to lot drunky about 8.30 last night. Bit of a dram, I couldn't find my location marked on the uh, permit. So I don't know whether I'm in the right place or not, but I pitched up. Really lovely spot. Midge is not too bad, great sunset. Um, I've had breakfast and I'm, I'm gonna knock this final 50k off. climb 24 out of 24 on the west side away to Mulgai and then down to Glasgow nearly over Whew. wow that was a tough climb up that tough climb up a bit different than running it mm -hmm. 